an ongoing uh, study which we uh, presented at the EAU in 2021 uh, relates to uh, metastatic behavior and how prostate cancer cells um, start to move both within the prostate uh, and then ultimately migrate from the prostate to metastatic sites. Uh, we've been uh, studying this process for a number of years. And in, in this aspect of our work, uh, we looked at um, what's called the EMT switch in relation to uh, locality within the prostate. What the EMT switch uh, stands for is uh, epithelial to mesenchymal transition. This is where the cell switches its, uh, uh, its shape uh, and its behavior. Uh, it becomes more mesenchymal and in that form, it uh, starts to migrate and assume a metastatic phenotype, which is much more aggressive. What we have noticed is that prostate cancer cells in the metastatic environment can undergo a switch from mesenchymal to uh, epithelial and vice versa, depending on where they are and how they're migrating across different uh, membrane barriers. And in this aspect of our work, we wanted to look at the interrelation between perineural invasion uh, where, the, um, where we know PNI is associated with an adverse prognosis, but we don't fully understand it. And what we also know is that the cells in relation to the perineural infiltration areas are often of high grade. In other words, they look like Um We used uh, sophisticated uh, uh, microscopic measurement techniques whereby we took uh, radical prostatectomy specimens, we looked at areas within the prostate, but within the um, the uh, more central areas of the prostate around cancers and in the peripheral areas in and around perineal invasion, just associated closely with inner aspects of perineal invasion and what was happening to the cells just outside. Uh, and what we found was that the, there was a, an increase or a switch on uh, in the EMT behavior uh, associated with cells that were in the perineurium. Um, in other words, as the cells became associated with the nerves just on the outside of the prostate, they then became switched on to a metastatic phenotype and behave much more aggressively. We don't understand uh, why they do this, whether this is a neural influence uh, with neurotransmitters causing the, tran uh, the transition, uh, or whether this is a, an energetic uh, issue where the uh, prostate cancer cells uh, get energy, lipid-based energy, which we know is important. Uh, and become transformed. Uh, what we have been able to do in, uh, in work associated with this EMT transition uh, is to look at the long-term outcome by comparing this EMT transition with um, survival of prostate cancer patients. In those men who have EMT transition and other markers of EMT transition, uh, then we know that their long-term outcome uh, is much, much worse. In other words, um, this is associated uh, with uh, aggressive biological behavior. Now, what we need to do is understand what the relevance of that is clinically. In other words, can we uh, use EMT within our histological analysis and within other more sophisticated genomic and uh, uh, proteomic analyses? And can we translate that to the clinical sphere? Because we know that it's influential. Perhaps more importantly, can we understand the processes and work out how to switch it off? Because that is a way to stop prostate cancer cells metastasizing and ultimately um, causing the death of our patients. Thank you.